taken up. Now, Javi, you need to hurry. Look, I'm not giving you shit, okay? I'm just... You weren't here when Dad was sick, okay? I get it, but... You need to fucking be here when he goes. I know. Hurry, I'm just on my way. <sighs> David! It's David, hey! Hey, David. I had to leave my car. It's traffic's just it's backed up for miles. He's dead. No. No. I, I, I tried. You're a piece of shit. You know that? One time. Just the one goddamn time that you needed to be here. Look. Look, I understand you're angry, but please. Angry? Oh, I'm more than angry, Javi. <laughs> Everyone's here. They've been here for days, and where the fuck were you? <clears throat> we're there, all around him. People who love him all around him. And he's scared. I'm seeing the panic in his eyes, and he's searching the room. Donde esta Javier? Donde esta mi hijo? I'm there, right beside him, holding his hand. Like a good son. And he doesn't even see me. He doesn't even see me because he's looking for you. You don't think there's a million places we'd rather be? I'm sorry. Okay? David, Jesus, I... Sorry isn't bringing him back. You selfish fuck. Uncle Javi? Why, why are you fighting? I could hear you from inside. What's going on? We were just, uh, talking, Gabriel. Right. Your uncle and I are just having a little chat. Go inside, mijo. We'll be in in a minute. Go on. It's okay. Inside. I should call someone, pick up the body. Yeah. I love you, little brother. You know that, right? With everything going on. I know. You think I was jealous of you. No, I, I don't think anything. Well, I was. For a long time. You've lost more than I'll ever have. But maybe something good can come out of all this. Because we need you here. It's time to grow up. You can't run from this. Not anymore. You want me around more? Fine. But goddamn, are you still one raging asshole? You know that? You can call me whatever you want. As long as you're here to do it to my face. Javi. Kate. I'm so sorry, Javi. I'm so sorry. Thank you. Let's go inside. Your mom needs you. What happened? Come on. Mama. Where were you? I tried. 
tried. I tried. I'm so sorry. He's gone, mijo. He's gone. <laughs> He's in a better place, mama. No puedo conectarme. Dicen que no hay servicio. You thirsty, baby? You want some juice? Grandpa's cup was empty. You don't have to fill his cup up anymore, baby. Grandpa is sleeping. No, Yaya. Lipo's awake. Where's your sister? <laughs> keys! Where the fuck are the keys? Take Dad's car. <laughs> keys are on the dash. <laughs> Mama, get the kids. Meet at the hospital. Don't take the highway. It's blocked. <sighs> I'll bring the van around. Where's Mari? I don't know. Mija. Mariana! From the stars! Mariana, we have to go. Yaya's hurt. Come on, honey. We have to go. No, no, no! 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 It's okay. No! It's okay. County General Hospital. I know the way. Tell me when it reaches the campfire. Man, 
I don't think I've seen this many. It's definitely growing. Yeah, not a great sign. Damn it, I left my water bottle. Her just got there. Just under four hours. Come on, we should keep moving while the kids are asleep. Yeah. Looks like the herd is speeding up a little. I thought it was drifting southwest, but I'm not sure anymore. Every time I think we should just bed down somewhere and wait for it to pass, I can't shake the thought of us getting caught in the middle of it. It just keeps coming. It's slow, but that almost makes it worse. It makes it feel like we're in control. We should keep moving. It worked for us so far. As long as we stay supplied, we're fine. Yeah, maybe you're right. The van isn't so bad. We'll figure it out. We always do. Hey, I'm gonna sneak a smoke. I can't believe you found weed. Are you kidding? People were probably growing this before they realized they needed food. All right, just, you know, make it quick. I don't want you waking the kids. Relax. Mariana's got headphones on and Gabe is drooling. I think we're in the clear. You want some? Nah. No thanks. One of us should be... sober. <laughs> don't judge me. <laughs> Oh, when I found out David had kids, I told him, I am not changing who I am around them. <laughs> and when he proposed, I reminded him that I'm not exactly stepmother material. <laughs> Case in point. He was reassuring, but yeah, you know, I could tell he was worried about it. I knew he'd try to get me to change. <laughs> or at least he'd hope that being around the kids more would change me, you know? I suppose it did. He was always stubborn like that. Even when we were kids. He saw the world in a certain way. And he'd try and make you see it that way too. So that's where Gabe gets it from. I used to talk shit about all those mothers who'd go on about raising their kids being the hardest thing in the world. Oh. Gabe's making me start to think they had a point. His mood swings are just, oh, I don't know. Some days I just want to leave him by the side of the road. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Jesus, obviously. You really shouldn't say things like that. I said it was a joke. It's half a joke. It's all joke. Look, I love these kids, but I could do without Gabe reminding me I'm not his mother whenever he's pissed. He's a teenager. Puberty. Hormones. The second you start getting boners, the whole world starts to get dark. What are you talking about? It sounds delightful compared to dealing with bloody underwear. <laughs> Christ. I need to get laid. That was an awkward transition. Sorry about that. you guys do drugs that's a pretty severe way of phrasing it mariana don't tell gabe he's the one who told me oh oh my god you're even smoking in the car now all right everyone roll the windows down before you all get contact high 
We're about to make a supply stop. I'm praying I find a candy bar. <laughs> All right. What do we actually need? Uh, a candy bar. Need, Mariana. Not want. Really need a candy bar. You heard the crowd. Please, God, let there be candy bars. Amen. All right. Well, let's start with some gas and move up from there. <laughs> Where are you going? Okay, that's cool. Have fun. Oh, Jesus. It never ends with him. I hate when they fight like that. I really hate it. It's like all Gabe wants to do is argue. It doesn't matter what it's about. He takes after his dad. At least you have your headphones. Yeah, but... The batteries have been dead for a couple of weeks. I mostly wear them to fool you guys. It's easier to stay out of it that way. <laughs> you... You sneaky little... <laughs> That's smart. That's pretty smart. Be nice to find some dinner. In a junkyard. You never know. These past four years, people have been hoarding all kinds of shit in all kinds of places. Oh, and Mari, if there's any trouble, you would find one of these cars. Yeah? Lock yourself in and don't come out. Not even once it's quiet. And wait as long as you can. Okay. Good girl. Looks like there's more to see up here. Any luck? Some. But not enough. Gabe? Hey, Gabe. Let's go take a look over there. Gabe, stay close to Javi. Got it? Oh, all right.
Hey, look. There's one they never took to pieces. Good catch. locked. All right. Here goes nothing. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Look at all that fuel. This is going to take a while. Looks like it came from in there. Gabe, stay close. Might be able to get in through the hatch. <clears throat> Not gonna be able to pry this open. Damn it. Gabe, come check this out. Not the cleanest place. Oh, no muertos, at least. Just be careful. Are you kidding me? Lucky for you, they put enough preservatives in this stuff to last for centuries. Well, there's enough food in here to keep us going for a long time. Oh, check it out. This is actual honest to God pudding. Seriously? And it's not just food. There's a mattress, there's blankets. Someone else's mattress someone else's blankets. We need to just take our gas and get on the road. This place does have a funny feeling about it. And if Muertos were to somehow surround us... Great. Now I'm officially creeped out. Come on, one night. We bunk down, eat a real meal. It would be nice not to sleep in the van for a change. Please. The herd is coming, if it's not here already. We should go and get ahead of it, before it's too late. The fence is reinforced. We'll be fine. We found this. Why can't we just enjoy it? Javi, can we? We could stretch out, sleep well for once. The kids are right. We deserve a little break from the van. Yes! <clears throat> kids, go wild. Just stay indoors and keep your ears open. <laughs> just in case. Cool. You can have your own.
I don't know how I always end up being the mean stepmom, and you get to be the cool uncle. We should be able to switch roles now and then. Keep the kids off balance. Oh, come on. That's not fair. You're cool to me. Wow. That means so much. Really. Grab some hey, gas. Uh, wait, but you... You're the cool one, remember? She'd expect it from you. What the fuck do you think you're doing with our gas? Go on, speak up! Well, it's not like I saw your name on it. Don't fucking test me, boy. You ain't the loner type. I can tell. I know you got people. No, uh -uh, I'm alone. Honestly, people just slow me down. Uh-huh. All alone. Yeah, sure you are. Fan out, look for the others. Lonnie, you're with me. You assholes in there! I got your boy! You don't want him getting shot, you best come out there careful with your hands up! Go on, you first. You get ambushed by your own people, that shit's gonna make my day. Open it real slowly. by your lonesome. Now how come these are all open? You can't just take what you like. I don't roll over like that. Look, look, I I'll get you more food. Okay, I can replace everything, I That's swear. That's the goddamn least you can do. Look, I, I, I get it, all right? You're starving. Who the fuck is it? At the end of your rope, thought you hit pay dirt. Honest mistake. But I got this sneaky fucking feeling... <clears throat> You're full of shit. I ain't gonna let it be like the last time some assholes rolled on us. Keep an eye on this dickhead. I'm gonna grab some cuffs. You got it. Just chill, okay? No need to make this any harder. Look, just, just let me go, okay? Please. Look, man. This doesn't have to go. What the fuck was that noise? What you got hiding under there, boy? If you know something, you better spill it. You don't want me finding out for myself. Come on, man, what else? There are muertos down there. There were a bunch of them outside, too. The dead, huh? Well, then, we better take care of that, shouldn't we?
Hey, my family, where are they? What did you do with my family? Answer me! Just do us both a favor and pretend you're still asleep. I wouldn't start talking if I were you. You're lucky we do things a certain way. I'm already tempted to put a bullet in your brain for what you did to Lonnie back then. If we start talking, I'm gonna get angry. What happened to him was an accident. Yeah, right. Keep talking, we might find ourselves in a similar accident. You get what I'm saying? Please, you have to believe me. We were just... Not another word, or God help me, I'll put you to sleep myself. We still got a haul ahead of us, and I'm not about to listen to you. What the hell? Stop! Stop! Oh, shit! Oh, no, no! Good. Just keep looking forward. Please. I just... I need help. Well, that's obvious. The way your friend there ran off, I don't think he's likely to come back and save you. Okay. Now don't do anything stupid. Because I'm not as nice as you. I won't hesitate. You're a kid. Well, wait, did you do that? With the tree? I was trying to stop the truck. Yeah, you stopped it all right. Tree fell slower than I thought it would. Put your hands up and close your eyes. Look, I'm the victim here. We're all victims. Oh, so it's okay for you to rob me? This is payment for saving you. Hey, that's for my niece. She loves chocolate more than anything. I promised it to her. Please. Keep your eyes closed and count to a hundred before you go. Wait, just... My family. I need to get back to them. We were attacked and I don't... Look, I just need to know where I am. We were driving down the 522 and that's when we found the junkyard. They're still there. I need to get back to them. I know where that is. You said you were driving? In our van, yeah. I'll take you to the junkyard, if you let me have your van. I get you there in one piece, then I drive away. Yeah, absolutely. You got a deal. Good. Let's go. This really necessary? I don't know you, I don't trust you, and I'm not taking any chances. So it's safer for both of us if you're tied up. Come on. You must trust me at least a little. We're here, aren't we? I trust that if I don't get a van at the end of this, you'll regret it. The name's Javier, by the way. People call me Javi. Clementine. Clementine. Cool name. If you say so.
get it done. Look, you don't want to talk? Fine. But how about you give me that gun back so I can at least defend myself? For all I'd know, you'd turn around and use it on me. You give me a weapon, we can protect each other. I give you a weapon, I can't take my eyes off you. At least this way I know what I'm up against. Muertos. The herd caught up with us. Muertos. What do you call them? Walkers. Well, what do you call the ones that run? They're all fucking walkers, okay? Look, I'm just... I'm not used to being around other people. Not for a while, anyway. Usually, it's just me on my own. Apology accepted. I wasn't apologizing. So, who's at this junkyard? My brother's kids. And his wife. It's impressive, surviving this long. Not sure how you did it. Just keeping everyone together like that. Well, I didn't do it alone. My, uh, well, uh, Kate helped. She did most of the work, actually. Sounds nice, having a partner. It is. Well, how about you? You must have been pretty young when this shit started. I was. But some people looked out for me, too. What happened to them? Same thing that happens to everyone. We can't stay here. There's a town up ahead. We can stay there until the herd passes. Otherwise, we're walker food. Can you do that, please? Fine. Thank you. Don't make me regret this. Come on! Francine, one of these days, those doors are gonna close, and your ass will be on the other side. <laughs> yeah, and when that day comes, Trip, I promise, I'll eat you first. It's Clementine, right? You staying a while this time? No. Once the walkers pass, I'm taking this guy to a junkyard off the highway. My family might be trapped there, hiding from some very bad dudes. Well, shit. I'm truly sorry to hear that. This herd rolled in pretty quick. We're hoping it's gone just as fast. So, just keep your heads down and steer clear of trouble. You got me? There's too much going on outside the walls tonight. We'll be cool. Just need a place to ride out the herd, that's all. All right. I'm gonna hold you to that. 
And I wouldn't recommend changing your mind. If you want to hang on to all your teeth, that is. Now head on in. I got shit to do. Well, welcome to Prescott. It's a pretty cool place, actually. Built from an old airstrip, I guess. The people, on the other hand, they're not my favorite. Usually I'm in and out as quick as I can manage. Not exactly an option this time, though. It's just a pit stop, okay? We're gone as soon as there's a window. I hope that window comes soon. In the meantime... Hey, Javi. What's... what's up? My family... They're still out there. If you guys made it this long, I I'm sure you know... They'll know what to do. Hopefully. Let's go. This way. I gotta see a guy about some bullets. Jeez. I haven't been in a place like this since... Well, you know. It's just like the old days. Listen, I gotta take care of something. Hang tight. Well, wait, wait. What should I do? I don't know. Why don't you make some friends? Excuse me. Oh, you again. <laughs> you got some moves, I'll give you that. Hold on a minute. Don't I note you from somewhere? I don't know. Maybe. Garcia. Javier Garcia. For what it's worth, I think you got screwed on the gambling thing. A lifetime ban. Shit. Should have had a 20-year career. The way I see it. Nothing wrong with betting on yourself to win. <laughs> and that got a lifetime ban? You want an autograph or something? <laughs> if I had a baseball, I'd take you up on it. But I'm fresh out. Anyway, I'm Conrad. This here's Francine. He runs the place? I just take his money. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe I'm just letting you win. Oh, actually, if you're the gambling type, game's poker. Five card stud. I'll raise you. What do you think? Should I call, or should I fold? Hmm, don't get too intimidated. I lose more often than I care to admit. He's bluffing. He's got bullshit written all over him. <laughs> Is that a fact? All right, I think I'll listen to the man. Call. Moment of truth. Flip him. Oh my. Ain't that a pretty sight. Good looking hand there, but not good looking enough. God damn it. Shit, sorry. And thanks for playing. Let me get you a drink for the assist. On the house. Bottoms up. Wow, man, this smells like turpentine. <laughs> That's the weak stuff. Don't turn away from me. I'm talking to you. Oh, shit. Hey, what's the point in talking when I already told you a deal is a deal? And it's done. What's going on? This guy ripped me off. I traded him a crate of perfectly good batteries, and he gave me a box of bullets that won't fire. He could have gotten both of us killed. Oh yeah? And who the fuck are you, a bodyguard or something? Because I don't scare easy, all right? And I don't respond to threats, neither. Just make it right. We can all walk away from this nice and easy. Uh, well, you can't even prove those are the bullets I traded you. Oh, hey, Clem, come on. He knows the bullets don't work. Listen to him. He's not even nervous. I could have died. 
died because of his bullets. Unfucking believable. Look out! <laughs> Listen, let's all cool down, huh? You were acting crazy, I was too. We just got a little out of hand. That's all. Just give me what I'm owed. Jesus, you gotta get her under control, man. This ain't no way to do business. All right, stop. Seriously, this isn't getting you anything. We had a deal. All right, hey, okay, all right, so, hey, we'll, we'll trade back. I'll find some batteries. I don't need batteries. What I need are bullets that won't get me killed. Oh. <gasps> oh no. Oh no. Drop the gun. Right now. Say he attacked you and that he was going for his gun. I fucking warned you. Eli attacked him. I only shot because. Shut it. You done enough talking. Did he die? Drop it. There's a herd out there and you're firing off a fucking. What the fuck happened here? He attacked Javi, okay? It was self-defense. Enough from you. Did she really have to shoot? Look at my eye, man. Of course she's telling the truth. The guy ripped her off, reached for his gun, and would have shot me if she hadn't stopped him. See? You happy now? <sighs> God damn it. I'm putting you two under lock and key until I figure out what to do Whoa. with you. Oh, hey, what? Are you for real? As real as it gets. Now move it. Got some nerve coming in here fucking up my bar. I oughta punch your fucking lights out. Both of you. But Eli was a grade-A certified dipshit. I'll even have someone come take a look at that cut. Hey. Thanks for having my back at the hangar. That was, um... That was cool of you. I wasn't sure there for a minute. Yeah. Well, now you really owe me one. Because you put my ass on the line with these people, and they barely know me. I know, and I'm... well, I'm saying thanks. Just... don't think this makes us friends or anything. Hello? I'm Eleanor. I'm what passes for a doctor around here. The trip sort of overdoes it sometimes. I hate that I'm treating you in a cage, like you're some feral animal. Javier, pleasure's all mine. Is it now? Now, let's see about that wound. Yeah, he got you good. Try to hold still. <clears throat> Why is it always the pretty ones who end up causing the most trouble? As if good looks equal bad behavior or something. I've never understood it. Oh, I'm not a troublemaker. No, trouble sees me and runs the other way. That explains why Trip locked you up for the night. People are saying she killed a man in cold blood. If you don't mind me asking, what did happen exactly? That they were arguing, and that she went crazy over nothing? That guy had it coming. Believe me. Karma, justice, you call it whatever you want. Fuck that bastard. Hey, okay. If you say so. Best thing is probably for you two to leave town. And get back to your group. We were attacked earlier this evening. There were four of us. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. If there's... If there's anything I can do to help, well, not that I have much to offer you, but I know a thing or two about losing family. Hey, it's okay. You've done enough. I hear you, 
but... Eleanor? You done yet? Just about. Again. That's not your call. That's good. Getting into first gear is the hardest part. Now, just stay on the road. <laughs> Most important rule there is. Now, let's try shifting into second. Not bad at all, especially for a first time. You just gotta ease up off the clutch a little smoother, all right? You don't have to make the switch all at once. I want to do it again. You will. And next time, just be gentle. And once we get down to Florida, we'll ditch the wheels and I'll make a sailor out of you. Mark my words. You too, buddy. I just can't get him to talk. It's unusual for his age. Well, the heater's broken. He's cold. Only makes sense to head for Florida sooner than later. Leave all this snow behind, right? Be like summer every day. Hell, I'm gonna have to find me some shorts. No more winters ever again, Clem. And the ocean. I'll teach AJ to fish, how to swim. We'll watch the sunrise every morning. All three of us. But we ain't getting nowhere doing 25 miles an hour. Shift her into third. Let's get a really cooking. Well, there you go, Clem. Time we get to Florida, you'll be a better driver than me. 
proud of you, Clam. Hey, I really appreciate you teaching me. You know, I... I always dreamed about the day I'd teach Duck to drive. You're the best second chance I could ask for. Where's your blanket, goofball? I swear this kid never makes a peep. Who knows how long he's gone without a blanket? The duck was gabbing a mile a minute at his age. Wasn't full sentences, but it was something. AJ's a survivor. He knows making too much noise will only get him killed. But he's a kid. Kids shouldn't have to worry about that sort of thing. <sighs> Crap! I got it! Turn the wheel! Don't! Today, you son of a bitch! Go! Don't look back! Hey, Clem. We almost there. Hey, Clem. Yeah, we're close. I gotta say, I hope your people are safe and sound. Eleanor asked me before we left to make sure of it. Oh, yeah? Yes, sir. So that's what I'm gonna do. Though why she went to bat for you, I've got no idea. I mean, she hardly even knows you. And you don't know her, for that matter. Makes a guy wonder, you know? Well, there's not much mystery to it, Trip. She's a good human being. Yeah. Eleanor's got a big heart. That's for damn sure. Guys, that's the place. Oh, shit. What a mess. Must have been hundreds of them. Kate's good in a crisis. She'd know how to get shelter. What's that?
Mariana's tape player. Mariana? Mariana, are you here? Javi! Oh my god! You're safe! I can't believe it! You told me where to hide. I just listened to what you said. Lock yourself in and don't come out, not even once it's quiet. It kept running through my head, like, on a loop. I don't even know how long I was in there. I'm so sorry I left you behind. I've been trying to get back here this whole time. You don't have to be sorry. You said you'd come back, and you did. Kate, and your brother, where are they? We got pulled apart when that huge bunch of muertos showed up. Kate yelled that they were gonna try to make it back to the van. Then that's where we're headed. Let's go find your brother, sweetheart. Oh no. Mariana, stay back! see all of you. Happy you're all okay. Another couple of minutes. We might not have been. But then, you showed up. Just when it really mattered. Yeah, well, that's kind of my thing. Oh. <laughs> I, I wanted to come after you. I, I swear I did. You don't have to snot all over my shirt about it. I thought we were dead. Like, never gonna see you again dead. We only had a couple bullets left. Oh, I thought we were done for. I know it must have been awful, but it's all over now. Y yeah, I, I know, but I was just so scared. I'm here now. You don't have to be scared. Hey, you hurt yourself. You must have scraped it in the truck. Didn't even notice. Hey, at least it's not a bite. Well, not much we can do about it here. I've got a lady friend who's a doctor. As soon as we get back to Prescott, she'll patch you right up. I'm Trip, by the way. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. We should be getting back. Don't want to push her luck. Who's the kid with the gun? She have a name you want to share with us? Or are you going to make me do my own introductions? She saved my life. Pulled this crazy stunt. Let me get the upper hand on the asshole who took me away from you guys. Her name's Clementine. Hi, there. Glad I was able to help. Well, we're very grateful to you. Really. There's a town nearby. It's safe. I like the sound of that. Oh my god. Javi, do they have hot water? Even, like, lukewarm water would be okay. Ugh, oh, and bubble bath. Wouldn't bubble bath be amazing? I'm sure they do. I'm gonna stay in until my fingers get all pruny. Between you and me, these kinds of missions don't usually go so well. But you found every single one of your people. And you found them alive, healthy, reasonably cheerful. Guess I'm a lucky guy. Luckier than anyone I've ever met. When we get back to Prescott, you still owe me a working ride. I haven't forgotten about our deal. You couldn't have known what happened to your van, but still, I need some way out of here. Don't worry. I haven't forgotten our arrangement. I know it's not the easiest thing to find, but... Cool. Thanks. I 
don't think so! Javi! We can't leave her! Oh! Shit! Oh! Kate! <laughs> Stop! Uh. Stop! Javi, help! Do something, Javi! Do something! I know, Harvey, and there'll be time for all that, but not right now. Kate needs a doctor, <laughs> which means we gotta go. We got a window here, man. We gotta get a move on before they start shooting again. I'm gonna fucking kill them. I'm gonna kill all of them. You wanna die too? You think that's gonna help your little girl? So what? I'm just supposed to let him live? If you wanna do what's right for your family, you'll come with me. It's time to go, man. We stay here and we finish this. Are you fucking nuts? We gotta get the fuck out of here I've right now! I already killed one of you. If we don't stop them, they're gonna come after your family again. Let Trip help them. You stay with me. What? No! Uh, Javi, you have to come with us! Javi, please! Trust me, Javi. We have to end this now. No, Javi! Please come with us! Please! Javi, come on! Get her back to Prescott. We'll cover you. Javi! Go with them. I'll be fine. Give me a hand here, kid. Just keep firing until they're out of sight, okay? I'm ready. Javi, don't! 